Now to our top story, a broken gas line forcing the closure of the San Diego Zoo and several other attractions at Balboa Park. A contractor doing work in that area struck the three quarter inch line this morning, causing the leak. We have team coverage on the impact this has been having all day long. So let's begin with our tenders reporter, Rena Nakano. Rena. Yeah, good evening, you guys. The zoo is open 365 days a year unless there's an emergency like today. Uh, the last time it was closed, by the way, was January 2017, and that was for severe weather. So when we talk to all these tourists from around the world that today was their unlucky day that it was closed, many of them were in disbelief. Then we got here, we were like, oh, there's nobody here. Veronica Lynch thought it was her lucky day, finding prime parking at the San Diego Zoo, totally worth the long drive from L.A. That is, until she saw us at the entrance. We were the bearer of bad news. The zoo is closed. I seriously was like, oh, I bet they're going to be closed or something like that. I was I, I, I don't know, like I jinxed ourselves or something. The face of utter disappointment from tourists from as far as Venezuela. It's all because of a construction accident at 8.40 a.m. Thursday. 20 minutes before the zoo opened, crews working on the new children's zoo busted a three-quarter inch steel gas pipe. SD Fire evacuated the area and the zoo sent most of their staff home at 11 a.m. The gas needs to completely exit the infrastructure so that we can safely make repairs. SDGE says their contractor followed protocol and did request an 811 dig alert. Now they're investigating how this happened. None of the animals were hurt or anything like that. Zoo officials say the animals were unharmed, but they have key personnel just outside the grounds to care for the animals throughout the day. Staff say day tickets for the zoo were honored at their sister facility, the safari park in Escondido, a great second option for Lynch. I've never been there before. I've always wanted to. We always look at like the cool little safari things you can go on and stuff. So I've actually been wanting to do it. SDGE crews are still out here. The evacuation order for the zoo still in effect, but we are told by zoo officials by tomorrow a.m. 9 o'clock. That's when they will be open. Reporting live, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. Rena, thank you. Most of the museums at Balboa Park, they are closed for the day as crews work on that gas leak. 10 News reporter Jennifer De La Cruz is live. And Jen, this is one of the busiest times of the year there. Yeah, guys, a lot of locals and tourists were so disappointed to see that the buildings were shut today. But a lot of people, as you can see, still here, able to walk around and enjoy the day. So some good news there. But of course, with those museums shut down, that's a big hit for some of those businesses here in Balboa Park. The majority of the museums were shut today. A couple, just a handful of them were open. Visitors were getting turned away and told to evacuate by park rangers at one point. Tables and chairs sat empty at the Prado restaurant. Guests were escorted out of the Fleet Science Center and a lot of confusion at first about what was closed and what was still open. San Diego police blocking off and shutting down the Spanish village and the children's zoo. Some people still finding a way around it. Yeah, they've got they've got caution tape all over the parking lot over there and everybody's just ducking under it like it's no big deal They're Nobody's enforcing anything. Park officials say since the power was shut off a lot of the buildings, it takes a while to carefully turn on all of the lights and that's why so many places were not able to reopen today. They say all of the museums are operated independently. So for people who may want refunds, you do have to check with the individual museum. Once again, the majority of them were shut down today. Air and Space Museum and the Autumn Museum were able to stay open. So good news there. And tonight there will still be performances at the Old Globe Theater and a concert at the Oregon Pavilion. That starts tonight at 630. Reporting live from Balboa Park, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News. Thank you, Jennifer.